Misericordia has changed throughout its long history. Once known for its care of infants with Down syndrome, it has expanded under Sister Rosemary Connolly's leadership into a community of children and adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities, as well as those who came to Misericordia after experiencing a life-altering illness or devastating accident. The needs of the residents of Misericordia have changed. For many, this has been their only home, their only family. It's needed because suffering is a reality and people expect a really sad place and it's not sad at all. Trisha McGee was born with Down syndrome and came to Misericordia when she was 26. She is now 56. While she enjoys visiting her family and continues to travel, it is Mesericordia that provides for her daily physical and emotional needs. Over time, she's done so many things here. Um, the art program uh, has been is huge for her now. She's always enjoyed uh, swimming and some of the, uh, you know, physical workout type things. Trisha's always had a very full schedule, and I think one of the unique things about Misericordia is they really like to challenge them. Trisha's activity has slowed within the past few months. She is experiencing the onset of dementia and has moved to Quinlan Terrace, which provides housing for aging residents who require additional care. Misericordia is you know, is really there to care for her, and it remains her home. Lauren Axelrod was born a healthy, beautiful baby, welcomed by David and Susan Axelrod in 1981. Things changed when she was seven months old. She was diagnosed with epilepsy. For the first 18 years of her life was uncontrollable, and the consequence of uncontrollable seizures is often damage to intellectual abilities. Lauren moved to Misericordia after graduating from high school. Now 35, Lauren feels at home. Lauren is beyond happy living here. My husband and I never could have imagined that her life would be so full, uh, so complete. She works in the greenhouse. She is um, active in the fitness center every single day. Um, and this is on top of her work program. There is a palpable joy when you set foot on this campus. Jonathan Goers was an active and bright young boy. He enjoyed sports and participated in numerous activities. Well, Jonathan um, was in an accident when he was 11 years old. Um, he went around a downed gate uh, riding on his bicycle and one train passed and he went around the gate and another train hit him, um, and he sustained massive, massive brain injuries, and he was left um, with the cognitive functioning of a three-month-old. Jonathan lived for 18 years at Misericordia's Macaulay residence, a skilled nursing center, what the goers call his forever home. In 2016, Jonathan died from pneumonia. Those residents are really loved, and they are part of the Misericordia family. This isn't the life that we would have planned for John in our case, uh, but it is the life uh, God has given us, and we can be blessed in that as well. More than 600 children and adults live at Misericordia, cared for by more than 1,000 staff. For more than 20% of the residents, the only support they receive is through the generosity of the Misericordia family, which includes all of you. Misericordia must raise more than $18 million each year beyond what the government provides. Raising the private dollar remains important for the future of Misericordia, so it can continue to provide each resident a life of dignity, challenge, and beauty. She's found the artist in her, um, which I didn't know existed before. So. Her father was a uh, postmaster for the Midwest. She loved the fact that she 
worked in the post office. We talk about John's second life, which was the life after his accident, and um, how he taught us so much. He taught us, I think, to be um, more compassionate people. Thanks to the leadership of Sister Rosemary Connolly, spanning almost five decades, Misericordia continues to provide the highest quality of care. Misericordia is truly the heart of mercy. I really love Misericordia because I think it's a nice place to be at. Um, Misericordia does treat me special. I believe every person, no matter what their background is, whether they're born with disabilities, whether they become disabled, they deserve the best life possible. Each one of you can make a difference.